and I welcome to your weekly Sidero forecast for June 29th through July 5th. My name is Athen. So let's go and look at your chart for this week. We've got a full moon here on Wednesday um, involving this seventh house of yours about relationships, one-on-one -on -one connections. And this is where Pluto's been transiting. So hopefully there's been some um, changes and you've been open to change there with how you relate to others, connections, legal matters, business related things. Uh, but mostly relationships and this full moon is going to be very close to that Pluto really magnifying that and helping you become more aware about these things and this is all about non-attachment um, with relationships and uh, again all relationships so uh, focusing on that seeing that this week I think will be very illuminating also any new beginnings <clears throat> that you set off this uh, last six months in relation to your one-on-one -on -one connections can be coming to a culmination point um, this week around Wednesday. So coming into this week, we've got Venus uh, forming some very nice aspects, conjoining up to Jupiter all the way through Thursday exact within one degree. Very nice aspect. Um, and this is all in your second house of values, finances, resources, the material enjoyments of life, the simple life. So perhaps lots of enjoyments there. Do find the middle path with that, of course. We don't want to go to any extremes with Jupiter. But still, I think things can be quite nice in that area. I think also you enjoying the relationship since Jupiter does rule at seventh house uh, this week can certainly be there as well as enjoying the uh, career or work or public related things with Jupiter ruling the 10th as well. So um, this trine up from Uranus, however, involving uh, Venus uh, exact here on Monday is all about the uh, career stuff, these changes maybe you've been having um, over the past many years with uh, career, public related things. Positive change there is now supporting um, these second house uh, material matters. So continue to mix things up there with that 10th house. Continue to let go of any old things that aren't serving you too with that 10th house, which is the south node. Um, and that you'll find very supportive towards these um, these opportunities this week involving that second. Um, and uh, that's, you know, this conjunction too, by the way, is going to be going exact around Wednesday. Okay, so that's when it's going to be the most heightened, but definitely this whole early part of the week for sure. Now on Wednesday, while we have that full moon, one thing I want to say too is this is also a culmination point of um, any new beginnings you set off in relation to your goals, drives, and ambitions, which was the new moon happening very close to your first house cusp. Also relating to your um, spiritual relaxation, tranquil asp aspects of life, because that new moon happened very close to both your 12th and your first house. You've still got Mercury, your ruler, in the 12th, so things are still about you getting rest, relaxing, connecting to God, things like this, um, and that is all what I think I think can be culminating and coming to a high point uh, towards this middle part of the week. Now, at that same time, the sun will be trining up to Neptune, which is uh, very uh, supportive towards these goals and ambitions, because let's face it, you've got Mars and the sun here in the first house, very energetic time for you in relation to the things that you want. You know, this is about you. It's about your goals, your ambitions. Of course, during a full moon, it's very important we balance this energy with others here with the seventh house with your relationships but still putting an energy towards these short-term goals and ambitions I think is definitely highlighted and the trine from Neptune can mean that through that you can find that quite soothing quite there's a flow to it about it this week um, with that tri trine from Neptune and this is the type of flow that perhaps you've been learning about um, trusting and flowing with your life path you know trusting and flowing with things relating to your philosophy, spirituality, astrology, you know, and finding more spiritual meanings through that. And all that is going through this sort of reflection period right now with Neptune retrograde and Chiron retrograde. So anyways, very supportive with the things you're intent on with your goals and, and drives this week, uh, middle part in particular. And then uh, Mars will be squaring up to the North Node, reminding you that this whole year is about a home family connecting to the um, domestic side of life. And uh, Mars squaring up to that can mean uh, an opportunity for you to put in constructive energy towards these uh, matters, home, family, etc. So I'd really recommend that because the square energy, you know, it's constructive. It holds the energy of Saturn, which is discipline, hard work, and putting that into your life path this year, which is, of course, that fourth house. So that's the middle part as well. Then around the weekend, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Mercury starts to form a lot of aspects. So your ruler, very nice aspects too 
for the most part. Um, so from that 12th house of rest and relaxation and spirituality, uh, Mercury is going to be sextiling up to Uranus. Okay, so maybe there are some new things to be learned about that, some things that will change your perspective relating to your work perhaps in some way. Um, that's going to be Thursday exact. And then uh, Friday uh, in particular, Mercury will be squaring up to Chiron. Again, emphasizing the importance of this trust and flow with Chiron in Pisces in your ninth house. But I think all of that you'll find very healing um, by putting in that constructive energy towards, um, you know, going with the flow and trusting in that whole process of life. Then over the weekend, Mercury will then be sextiling up to this conjunction. So your ruler, I mean, this is a lot of sextiles is opportunities. You know, they're easy aspects. It's not like a trine, like it's support. It's just there. It's just it's just an opening. OK, so it's all a matter of, you know, whether you put the energy into it or not. So the opening is there. And this is also relating to the values, material aspects of life with this conjunction. So very nice there with your ruler. I think um, if there are any new things coming in there in regards to these or in regards to your self-expression, spirituality, uh, relationships or career, I think it can be a nice weekend for those matters. Now, Saturn goes retrograde back into your fifth house uh, this weekend and into next week. So for the next few mon months, you'll have that opportunity to put in that hard work and discipline with your self-expression which has been the case with Saturn for the past uh, few years up until the later part of last year. So um, he's going back in there to finish up and restructure some of the things relating to your self-expression, fun, <clears throat> joy, creativity, everything relating to the playful, fun, and creative aspects of life. And that's Saturn. You know, Saturn's a very serious planet, but um, you guys perhaps since then have you know gotten very disciplined with your self-expression or anything creative or entrepreneurship or whatever. And so now there's a few things that might need to be restructured in regards to that for the next few months. So um, I'd be just observant of that this weekend. And then next week, I think you'll certainly be feeling that shift. So Gemini, I hope you guys have a nice one. If you have any questions, please let me know. And I'll talk to you all next time. Take care.